to me, Tees Valley Arts is about people in the Tees Valley making their own damn art world. Uh, certainly Tees Valley Arts is an organisation uh, dedicated to developing the opportunities for individuals, people who are not necessarily currently engaged with the arts in one form or another, to engage with the arts. So I think it's about having um, a face of reliability, of professionalism, but about um, the value of, of what we're actually doing out there with everybody. Well, usually on projects with Tees Valley Arts, um, it's enjoyable because the structure of Tees Valley Arts tries to make the, the project as pro professional as possible and leave a legacy for the participants who are involved. As a poet working in the community, you don't just want to go in to teach people to do something for one day, you want it to have a lasting impact and king into some important social issues as well. Well, TVA have um, a wealth of knowledge, information and contacts with people in various art streams that that my clients would like to get involved with. And I just can't think of anybody else who could provide that, really. Um, you have a 25 years history of, of organisations. You know, they build up a lot of credits with a lot of agencies, I guess. I really hope that when they see that logo, it speaks of exciting, unexpected, innovative approaches to all kinds of problems and challenges that are things that they themselves or their organisations wouldn't have thought of but which address their needs and do it really, really well. It seems to me the critical ingredient is passion, belief and the individual's creativity within the organisation and the, people, the artists they work with. They're what it's all about and always have been. The small sort of family nature of the of the organisation, I think, it's um, a selling point to working with partner organisations. I think they see us as a as a good organisation to work work with. We get things done. I think Tees Valley Arts they make um, a good case in terms of involving people, bringing to artists together, collaborating with different artists, bringing different skills and different medium together. Which I think that really helps us as an outside organisation, as an environmental organisation. We haven't got those skills, we haven't got the connections, and bring those skills together under one project roof. I think Tees Valley Arts inspires, um, creates enthusiasm, and creates the opportunity. I think that's, that's what Tees Valley Arts is, is about. It's about engaging with people, about listening to people and about acting on that uh, listening skill um, and getting them engaged and, and motivated into doing something about it. It's given me the opportunity to work in the area of which I've got an absolute passion for, which is working with people with disabilities and have completely and utterly supported what I'm doing within that field and also they've really heavily supported the project, um, understanding what a disability-led project actually needs in terms of developmental time, which is absolutely crucial, and they really understand that aspect. I think um, uh, Tees Valley Arts is um, a kind of a vital conduit for um, uh, both talent uh, and funding. Uh, in the arts as a, as a kind of an independent charity it can channel resources that perhaps aren't available to other organisations and it can also uh, find routes to creative expertise that step outside perhaps the, um, the mechanisms and structures that are available to local authorities. So I think it's got a very valuable service to provide to the area. So if I did come with the most outlandish project I would expect TVA to be positive about it and actually possibly say oh yeah we were thinking of doing something similar but I think Tees Valley Arts do recognise the talent that, that's homegrown and they, and, and they do bring artists in it's good to meet them and change, exchange ideas um, but a lot of organisations have this idea that if you're locally born then you can't be any good Tees Valley Arts don't do that I think when people see the results of the work done on Tees Valley Arts projects well I hope they see um, like social engagement and a sense of identity Speaking as a Teesside artist who's involved with Teesside Ballet Arts, with my own roots here, um, I think it's, it's good to have an agency that helps people be proud about where they come from or engage with the issues and try to, um, try to um, have an impact in, or, or um, express opinions about things that are in their own lives through the arts. Well, I mean, it, it is a kind of uh, 
a locus for artists to, to meet and to exchange ideas and to see what each other are up to and, and to kind of plot and plan and come up with campaigns of world domination. <laughs> It's a danger that it sounds pretentious, but art really does help us find our way in the world and know where we are and deal with things about which we feel uncertain. And if you don't encounter it, and if you don't have a meaningful engagement with it, if you're not given the opportunity to watch, listen, take part perhaps in art in every genre, then you're missing a potentially very important aid, a fillip to a happy, full enjoyable life and sense of connectedness with other people. For the first time in recent history, uh, the arts are really recognised as a tool outside of arts circles, are outside of formal cultural circles. So that is an opportunity that arts organisations must capitalise on if they are to survive. And um, I think Tees Valley Arts are uh, trying to demonstrate how that can be done and working in partnership is absolutely at the forefront of our working mission. Cleveland Arts, Tees Valley Arts, has been very good over the years at spotting those opportunities and you, you, know, you, you can see it over the years, you can see it now in the work that the organisation is doing. It's not all about bums on seats, it's not, neither is it all about workshop process, it's about people who want the arts and that's the, one of the real challenges, it's about getting enough of that so that there's a critical mass so that people can stay here and work here. Art, culture, they're all the same thing, everything that we experience on a day to day basis is the culture that we live in. Culture and cultural activity are things that we can use to create our own response to the environments in which we live. And that's the important thing about the arts for me. It's part of that cultural environment. Art is a kind of a function of a humane society. Do you know what I mean? Just stand up and say that. And, you know, I'd say to all these organisations that have got Renaissance in the title, there is no Renaissance without art. I think these Valley Arts do great work. I just hope they continue doing great work and making roads in the communities and reaching people that the arts don't always reach. And I think because the Tees Valley is at such an interesting place in history, opportunities for the arts are growing all the time. And I think the understanding of partner organisations in what the arts can do, and not just in a public art sense, but also in a much more subtle way, working with people of all ages, um, showing them that they have their own sense of creativity, that they have skills, that they can have aspirations, that they never dreamt they could have, um, all of those things. So I think that's where we're going. Mm -hmm.